His shot is so much more consistent now, David. It's coming off his fingers the same way every time, and his legs are obviously stronger. Isaiah Thomas feeding Edwards and a defensive question underneath as to who was supposed to match up that time with Edwards. Detroit, the most experienced team in the league. Six players of better than 30 years of age. They average eight years' experience. Contrast that to the Spurs starting two rookies, two second-year men, and coming Edwards for the slam. They are 40 and 10 since they made him a starter. He's averaged about triple as a starter what he did off the bench. 44-39. Outstanding scoring balance by San Antonio. Edwards up high. Just another among their attributes. Detroit may have the best outside shooting big man in the league. Edwards good up to 18 feet. Lane Beer, as we mentioned, their best three-point threat. A lot of enthusiasm on the Spurs bench right now because the Spurs are moving well offensively. Dumars with one of his few misses, and here comes Rod Strickland. Down by three, somehow managed to get a pass off out of all that, and Thomas takes it away. Two on one with Edwards over Robinson. Veteran in his 13th year out of Washington. Ready to screen Lane Beer for Dumars. Tripped up along with Anderson, and it's Edwards from the lane. 21 points in each of his last two games, 12 in this one so far. And that time the Spurs give Dennis Rodman a dose of his own medicine. Of course, he's known as such a scrappy, persistent player, and the Spurs just took the ball away from him, resulting in the jump shot by Willie Anderson. Again, they double Rodman. Edwards is the beneficiary. Rodman, as we have said, not known as an offensive threat unless he's in the lane, and then he can be hard to stop. And Dave, the Spurs have been very persistent and very disciplined in running their offense. When the Spurs have it going, you always see people cutting to the hole, and they have never stopped doing that throughout the game. They've maintained their discipline. They have not let the Detroit defense take over control of the game. Edwards rolling in over Robinson. And James Edwards with half of his 16 points here in the third quarter. He is 3 of 12 from the field and has 10 rebounds, the lone area where he has been himself tonight. He doesn't have a block shot either. They give Sally that shot, but he won't take it. Rodman against Elliott. And now Edwards over David Robinson. They still all fall for James Edwards up to 18 points. One field goal and now eight minutes by the Spur offense. Still scoreless here in the fourth quarter, which is about two minutes old, and Edwards keeps it alive. 20 points, 9 of 15 from the field. Wingate again looking for Robinson for the turnaround and Mark Aguirre for the rebound. And they will not even look for a final shot. It's all over at the Palace. Detroit with the win, but the Spurs will get a chance to even the score a week from Saturday night when the Pistons make their only hemisphere appearance of the year. Larry Brown's club still 2-1 and one on this three-game trip. Detroit wins this one after leading by as many as 24 by a margin of 12, 110-98 to 98 here in Auburn Hills.